this summer, a group of hikers was lost for almost 24 hours. When they were finally found, they reported following a group of other hikers deeper and deeper into the park, hoping to ask them directions when they caught them. They could never quite catch them. And then just as they were blitheringly lost, the people vanish. Well, my name is Franklin Lavoie, and I'm a native of Buffalo, New York. And I've been coming to Zor Valley for 30 years. Now, Zor Valley is in the southern tier of western New York, and it's this remarkable landform. You're going over rolling plains and hills, the foothills of the Appalachians, the Boston Hills. But when you come to this valley, it has these deep cut uh, karst region, steep meanders, which are you know real steep walled trails f uh, between the uh, high ground of the valley and the and the valley's floor where the Cattaraugus Creek winds. Zor Valley is a site that was considered haunted for a long time before the Europeans got here. It is a site of natural energy. There were ancient earthworks burial mounds and the like found in Zor Valley by the earliest European visitors. Nobody knows exactly who put them there. Closer to Gowanda there was a, a large mound found I think in the 1840s or 50s and uh, they, they uh, reported giant skeletons in these mounds. I think 13 nine-foot skeletons. To the Seneca it was a region of long hauntings and curses. There are a lot of uh, wizard and witch and sorcery tales set in Zor Valley. Zor Valley is certainly one of the places that would be given a title of, of a haunted place because of the deaths that have taken place in that particular uh, gorge. Both Native American and whites have lost their lives in some foul play and accidents and some strange happenings. There are legacies of curses on some of the roads surrounding Zor Valley. Families that have many ghosts returning. There seems to be a whole pattern of hauntings on the streets and roads around Zor Valley, as well as almost all types of paranormal folklore reported in the valley itself. I believe Zor Valley is haunted, and I believe that uh, Zor Valley is a place where there is a bridge between the worlds, that supernatural beings are able to interact with us. And I believe the key to that is beauty. As in architecture, so in the valley. When the mind is opened by beauty, that opening allows the supernatural world to enter in, be it the soul of the world, be it the the soul of something more earthy, the supernatural arrives in a state of beauty.